Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 2 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry. In my previous videos, I have completed distance formula and example 1 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above the one. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example 2 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry says show that the points 1 comma 7 4 comma 2 minus 1 comma minus 1 and minus 4 comma 4 are the vertices of a square so here they have given us four points and the coordinates and we have to show that these four points will form vertices of a square so this is the figure of a square which has four vertices that forms a square so we have to prove that these four given points will form the vertices of a square so we already know that a square has four equal sides where all the four sides of a square are equal and also the diagonals formed in a square will be equal so if we name the square as a b c and d so all the four sides that is a b b c c d and a d must be equal and also the diagonals a c should be equal to the diagonal b d if we prove this then we can say that the four vertices given will form a square so let us name the points first so let point a be 1 comma 7 point b be 4 comma 2 and point c be minus 1 comma minus 1 and point d be minus 4 and 4 respectively so first of all let us write down the points as a b c d let the points a b 1 comma 7 b b 4 comma 2 c b minus 1 comma minus 7 and d b minus 4 comma 4 so here since we have to prove that the sides formed by these four points will be equal and also the diagonals of the square will be equal so we have to prove that all the four sides that is a b will be equal to bc equal to cd and that will be equal to ad and also the diagonals ac will be equal to bd right that is ac will be equal to bd so if we prove these two things then we can say that the four given points will form a square so how do we prove this Th this we will prove by our distance formula which is given by square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so this is the distance formula now using this formula we will find out the sides a b b c c d a d and the diagonals a c and b d to find the side a b let us assume a to be x1 y1 and point b to be x2 y applying the distance formula to find the side a b we get square root of x2 minus x1 here it is 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 that is 2 minus 7 so 2 minus 7 the whole square so this will be square root of what is 4 minus 1 it is 3 square plus 2 minus 7 since 7 is greater number so we will subtract with a greater number sign right so 2 minus 7 will be 5 so we get minus 5 the whole square so squaring these term 3 square will be 9 minus into minus will become plus and 5 square will be equal to 25 right so 25 plus 9 is equal to 34 so there we get a b value as square root of 34 similarly let us find out the side b c now so to find out the side b c we will assume point b to be x1 y1 and let us take now point c as x2 y2 okay so bc is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 so here we have x2 as minus 1 and x1 as 4 so we will take minus 1 minus of x2 that is 4 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 here y2 we have minus 1 and y1 we have minus 2 so we will have minus 1 minus of y1 that is 2 the whole square so what is minus 1 minus 4 we have to add with a minus sign so we get minus 5 the whole square 
plus again we have minus 1 and minus 2 which we have to add with a minus sign so we get here minus 3 the whole square again so this will be minus into minus will become plus and 5 into 5 as 25 so square root of 25 plus again minus into minus will be plus and 3 into 3 is 9 25 plus 9 will be square root of 34 so here again we got bc as square root of 34 similarly let us find out the side cd now so to find out the side cd we will assume the point c to be x1 y1 and let us take point d to be x2 y2 any one of the point as x1 y1 or x2 y2 find the distance cd Again, applying the distance formula that is x2 minus x1. Here x2 value is minus 4 and x1 value is minus 1. Right? So here x2 is minus 4 minus of x1 is minus 1. Okay? So this minus and minus will become plus 1. The whole square plus again y2 is 4 minus y1 is minus 1. So minus into minus will become plus 1. 1 the whole square right so this will be minus 4 plus 1 we have to subtract with a minus sign minus 3 the whole square plus 4 plus 1 is 5 the whole square is equal to square root of what is minus into minus will become plus and 3 into 3 is 9 this will be 9 plus 5 square is 25 so this will be 9 plus 25 is how much square root of 34 so we get cd value is equal to square root of 34 now let us find out the distance of side ad again applying the distance formula here let us take point a as x1 y1 and point d as x2 y2 so applying distance formula again so it is x2 minus x1 here x2 is minus 4 minus 4 minus x1 is 1 the whole square plus y2 is 4 minus y1 is 7 the whole square right so this will be what is minus 4 minus 1 we will add with a minus sign so this will be minus 5 the whole square plus 4 minus 7 is 3 so we will get minus 3 because we have to take the greater number sign okay so minus 3 the whole square is equal to square root of again minus 5 the whole square will be 25 plus minus 3 the whole square will be 9 ad value is equal to square root of 34 so here we can observe that all the four sides value is root 34 which is equal now let us also find the diagonals ac and bd okay so applying distance formula to ac again so let us take this point a to be x1 y1 and point c to be x2 y2 so therefore applying the distance formula here to find the diagonal ac x2 minus x1 here x2 is minus 1 minus of x1 is 1 the whole square plus again y2 minus y1 here y2 is minus 1 minus of y1 is 7 the whole square so this will be square root of what is minus 1 and minus 1 here we have to add with a minus sign so this will be minus 2 the whole square plus again minus 1 and minus 7 will be minus 8 where we have to add with a minus sign the whole square so this will be equal to minus 2 the whole square will be 2 into 2 is 4 plus 8 square 8 into 8 is 64 so this will be square root of 64 plus 4 is equal to 68 that is the distance of the ac now similarly let us find out the diagonal bd equal to applying the distance formula again to b and d points taking b as x1 y1 and let us take point d as x2 y2 right so applying the distance formula where x2 here is minus 4 minus of x1 is 4 the whole square plus again y2 is 4 minus y1 is 2 the whole square again we have to add here minus sign so 4 plus 4 is 8 so it is minus 8 the whole square plus here 4 minus 2 is 2 the whole square so this will be square root of what is minus 8 square it is 64 
plus again 2 square is 4. So that will be equal to square root of 68. So this is the value for the diagonal BD. And also all the four sides AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD and that is equal to root 34. So write down since the sides AB is equal to BC is equal to CD and that is equal to AD and all this is equal to square 34 and the diagonals AC is equal to BD and that is equal to square root of 68. Therefore, we can say that the points, therefore, the given points form the vertices of a square. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving example 3 from chapter 7, coordinate geometry. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC NSART math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 7 coordinate geometry shown on the screen. Thank you.